you came really far from Canada, but we're from the same place, Northridge Valley Originally, Girls. Originally right? Valley Girls, that's right. That's <laughs> so right. I might catch you saying, oh my God. Oh my God. Or like, you know, what was the most of another one? Is it on eating? I need a spoon. Anyway, so, um, but you are a best-selling author of I Have the Storm and a producer, and I'm excited to read this next week on vacation. And you have had a whirlwind of success in only three and a half years with this magical book that you wrote. And I know that a film producer picked up your book to be made into a movie and made you a producer of it. And I want to know more. Okay. It all began in 2009 on Mother's Day. And I had this epiphany that as my life flashed in front of me. And I thought, you know what? What do I do for me? Mm-hmm. And not, not being selfish. Yeah. But we all put our families aside. We put our families, you know, forefront. And we are always seem to be on the back burner. Got it. So the thing is, like I said, we do everything for everybody else. But now I think it was my time to do something for me and yes. not in a selfish way. So I decided to pursue my greatest passion, which was to write a book. So I wrote I Have a Storm. And absolutely had no idea that it would make my life, you know, take me on a completely different journey than ever before. And to do this complete 180. Yes. So, yeah. And it's what type of book? It is a romance novel. So it's, it's written actually specifically what I write and I tell people what I write is I write things that are relatable mm-hmm. and I want people that read it I want them to say I've been there I've done that or I know someone who has so they relate so, absolutely Got and it. that's exactly what I want when I write I want to captivate that reader but I want people to be able to you know it's it's a book that is fictional although it's non-fiction in so many ways because it is so realistic Got it. and there okay. are so many both men and women both can relate that's amazing, yeah. And you were saying because the cover that a lot of men will read it and enjoy it, you get a lot of feedback from men as well. And I think that helps in general with people. There's this connotation that if you've already had a career or two, that's it. You have to retire, or no one will hire you. Or you can't make your dream come true. And I think you're such an amazing example. And I've told your story to several people to uplift and inspire them and get them excited to move forward and try their dream. Instead yes. of just saying, I'm a gonna, I'm a gonna, I'm a gonna, go and do it and look what can happen. Exactly. And you and speak on that, right? I do, I do. And, and as my quote, you know, life is half lived before we really understand what life is all about. Mm-hmm. And that's the true meaning behind that because at a point in our life where all of a sudden we realize, you know what, I've really got to live life. And, yes. and we don't really understand what living life is all about until we start to really pursue our passion and pursue our dreams, which I did. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, this is a perfect example because I wrote the book and because it's taken me where I have on this journey, it's given me a whole new light on life. So CK Gray, I know you have a lot of confidence and passion to be able to do something like this and really reach for your dreams. What's one tip you can give people out there on how they could do that too? I think that Fear. You have to go by and beyond fear because I think that's the one thing that everybody is so afraid of failure. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't matter. I ask myself, so what's the worst that can happen? Yes. And you just need to pursue it without thinking about it. You know, you, people think too much in depth of what if, what if, what if. Don't think the what if. Got it. Because that's where the waste of time. Just do it and just you know think positively. Because I I took a chance. Everything like everything was a risk. Yes. And this was a huge risk for me to write it because. It could just be laying on my coffee table at home and that's it. Yeah. But you know what? Or everybody could hate it. It was a huge risk as a writer. You know, people, there's thousands and thousands of people that this book goes to. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what if I got negative feedback from everybody? It was a huge risk mm-hmm. writing a romance. Novel. And you did it anyway. And I did it. And you know what? I said, I've done it because it's my passion. I'm just pursuing what I love to do. Yeah. I'm pursuing my dream. And so be it. If people don't like it, they don't like it. It's just it came and from my heart. Thank goodness we did. To do. And thank goodness I did. <laughs> Look at what you got as a reward. Exactly. exactly. That's exactly. great. Well, thank yes. you for that. Thank you. It's well, thank great. you for being it's here. And thank you for having me. Yeah. It's always fun. It's always fun. Good times. All of the fashion that you've seen here on the show, worn by Kim Summers Egglesey and some of the guests, have been provided by Detour. To find out more information, go to detourstyle.com.